Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to quickly come on and talk about my five New Year's resolutions. They're not literally technically New Year's resolutions, but they're things that I want to do and take action for to better my year in 2019. So happy new year. Today is January 5th and I'm super excited to be going into the new year knowing that we are having our third baby girl in a row this year 2019 in May. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. I would love to have you hit the subscribe button, turn your notification bells on, and welcome to our family. My first changes that I want to make in 2019 to be more productive is when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do, make my bed. You would be surprised how huge of a difference it makes for anyone to wake up first thing in the morning and make their bed and you feel so confident and secure the whole rest of the day, you feel like you accomplished something, you walk out of your room, walk back into it 30 minutes later. Even if there's clothes all over the floor and the room's still messy, still seeing that your bed is made, it just makes you feel like more fresh and you did something and it just, it makes you feel good. I don't know how to explain it. But if you've done it before or if you already do it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So definitely number one is First thing I do in the morning before I even like get out of bed is make my bed. And my list is down here so I'm going to keep on looking down here. So number two is a big one, a big goal that I have is I really, really, really want to cut back on social media. When I say social media, I mean my laptop, tablets, my phone, especially this guy right here. We as people are so consumed by the internet. and if I put my phone down for 10 minutes during the day, I could be picking up a mess in my house, I can be spending more time with my kids, even taking a nap, like just take time for you. And I know a lot of people when they want to take time for themselves, that's the only opportunity that they have to like sit down, dink around on their phone, look at updates and people's statuses and new pictures that people posted and watch new YouTube videos and things like that. But you would be so amazed by how much you can get done by just simply cutting back on social media. So that's definitely a really big goal of mine. And also another thing that kind of goes along with cutting back on social media, I want to start turning my TV off more. Um, my TV is on like a majority of the day. And even if no one's watching it, it's still kind of on. So I started kind of testing the past couple of weeks and seeing if I turn the TV off. The girls will actually go and kind of do something else besides like, even if they're not watching the TV when it's on, they're preoccupied by the TV while they're also doing something else. But when the TV's off, they can be completely occupied with what they're actually doing, like playing in their toy room, playing with puzzles, reading books, things like that. So I think that's a really big idea, a really good idea for people to just kind of turn their TVs off more and see what happens, see how far it takes you, see how you like it, just experiment. Number two, I really, 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 really want to start reading to my girls more. When Shukri was born and it was just her and she was my only baby, it was so easy for me to just read to her every single day, at least 20 minutes, that important 20 minutes a day. Reading to your kids is so important. And now having two under two is... I have to go poop. <laughs> Did you hear her? I have to go poop. Go poop on the big girl potty, honey. Um, it's just harder. The more kids that you have, it's more harder to spend that time and continue with your same routine that, that you had when you only had one. So I definitely want to start reading to the girls again. And I want to give Layla that same reading time that I gave to Shook when she was a baby. So these are two really great books that we're going to start with. This one here is called Dream Big Little One. And this is Be Bold Baby by Michelle Obama. Most of Shukri's books that she already has, she knows word for word, even though she cannot read. But it's teaching her to read. It's teaching her memory to go far and things. So really excited to get these into their book vocabulary. Um, number four, everyone can use a little bit of this, eating healthier, exercising, even a little bit, and getting your mind right with some yoga or meditation. We already eat pretty healthy in this house, but I definitely, with this pregnancy, I'm getting older, and as my pregnancies are 
progressing it is getting harder for me to lose weight so I definitely have been watching my weight during this pregnancy but I want to watch it a little bit more so eating healthier exercising even like five minutes a day of just some like kind of type of cardio or just even walking jogging around my park in my neighborhood just anything any type of exercise even if you're just sitting there watching TV and lifting up your legs on the couch while you're watching TV that's a form of exercise so whatever you can do whatever floats your boat whatever works for you get your exercise in because this mama right here good job honey I'm almost done I'm gonna come wipe your boo-boo okay? okay mom life <laughs> And number five is be more productive. So all of these things, making my bed, cutting down on social media, reading to the girls more, and exercising, all kind of go into that whole number five, being more productive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Whatever your goals are or your intentions for bettering yourself in 2019, keep crushing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Do it even better tomorrow. Get your mindset right and love life, enjoy life. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you're new, like and subscribe, put the notification bells on, and we will see you next time. Bye.